Hello and welcome to another video on Maya 2016. In the last video, we looked at how to um, move objects around and change the properties of objects in an animation using uh, keyframe animation on the timeline. In this video, we're going to look at how to change um, some of the attributes of a shape. So things like the color, material, um, the lights, and the rendering of a shape. So firstly, I'm. Um, this is the shape that I made in the last video. Um, so it's just a bit of an animation here. It's just a sphere and there's just a bit of a bounce animation there. Okay, but I'm going to change the uh, material and the texture and the color of this shape. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that the shape is shaded. So make sure that it's got smooth shade all on so it's not just a wireframe. Okay. That's the first thing to do. And then if you're using a Windows computer, what you need to do is press and hold the right click on this shape. Or if you're using a Mac, you need to um, control and hold down the control key while you're uh, holding down the mouse key or the touchpad to click on this um, shape. And that will bring up the marking menu. So um, if you're using a Mac, then make sure you've um, change the mouse tracking settings um, to one button in the Maya interface preferences um, before you're able to actually hold down control and click in this program. Okay, so um, either hold down right click, press and hold right click, or press and hold the control key and click. And then you'll see the marking menu appear. Okay, once you get the marking menu, you need to select assign new material. So hold down the mouse until you get to that and let go. And then um, we're going to select a material. So uh, for this video, I'm just going to select this material here. And then you'll see in the attribute editor, that material comes up here. So you, you can then uh, go and change a whole heap of attributes here, like color and transparency. So I can go and change the color. I could make it green and I could change the shade. We'll just use that color slider there to change the color to whatever I like. And then I can just click out of that color box. And now I've changed the color of that shape. Okay. Um, there's a few other things that I can do here. So I can go back to, in the attribute editor, I can go back to that material. And next to the color, there's a little check checkered box there. If I click on that, it will come up with textures. So I can now select a... Um, and change the texture. So I'm going to go um, for this video as an example, I'm going to use the checker texture. Now, when you select it, if you don't see it, make sure that you've got the textured view turned on. Okay. If it's not on, you won't see it. So make sure the textured view is on. Select the object. And um, because we've got this um, checkered pattern on here now, we can change the actual color of each of these uh, faces. So if we click again, you'll see that, that what was a checkered button there has now changed. If you click on that little button next to the color, it will come up with two color options here for the checker. So we've got checker attributes and then two colors. So you could change the white to something else like green and you could have black or you could change the black to maybe um, a really dark green instead like that. Okay, and then just click out to uh, keep that. So um, what we've done, we have um, assigned a material, we've changed the color, and then we've gone and changed um, the texture. And now we've modified that texture. Okay, so that's my shape after changing the material, uh, the color and the texture. And if I click on play, that's what it looks like. Okay. So uh, just a couple of final things in this tutorial. Um, up here on this toolbar here, you can change uh, shadows and you can change lighting up here. Um, you can also use the shadows or shading and lighting menus here. So you can use the lighting menu to uh, change some of the lighting there. Um, and you can also uh, add things like a motion blur. So you can turn the motion blur on uh, when it's animated. So when it's moving, you can see there's a bit of a motion blur there. We can turn that back off. Uh, and you can also render it. So to render this, um, 
to render what you see here, you need to click on Open Render View. And you can also um, click on Render Settings to change the rendering settings. So you can change the quality here for custom, preview, intermediate, production, different, different um, qualities there for rendering. Okay, so that's basically um, how to change some of the attributes of shapes and uh, how to add uh, textures and materials and colors and lighting um, as well as rendering. Okay, thanks for watching.